As the U.S. government approaches its debt limit, the finger pointing has begun in Washington. And one Democrat says former President Trump is mostly to blame. Paul Spade checks that claim for PolitiFact. What's the biggest cause of our $30 trillion national debt? Well, according to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, it's the tax cuts Republicans passed in 2017. Take a look. Congresswoman, quickly on the debt limit, uh, Democrats have been in charge for the past two years. Do you think Democrats have spent too much money? Um, I think the largest contributor to the debt ceiling or to our deficit has been the Trump tax cuts. But I got to go. Sorry. Now, the Trump tax cuts are expected to increase the national debt by $1.9 trillion. And that lost revenue is shown here in red. But you'll also notice some other bigger bars here on this chart, too. The purple is the CARES Act, which Congress passed in 2020 to help with the COVID pandemic. Trump signed it, and AOC even voted for it. The blue is the American Rescue Plan, which Biden and Democrats enacted in 2021. And to date, both of those pieces of legislation have added more to the national debt than the Trump tax cuts. Here's an even broader look at the bills that have passed since 2017 and how they affect the national debt. The orange bars show debt Trump added before COVID. The yellow is Trump's tenure during COVID, and then the blue shows debt that Biden has added. But the most relevant colors in this chart are at the end. The red shows our national debt, 31 trillion, and the pink shows the amount of national debt incurred before Trump even took office, 19.5 trillion. In other words, more than half of our national debt has nothing to do with Trump at all. And that's why the Truth Meter rates AOC's claim, false. Read our full fact check at WREL.com.